Welcome to Random Unboxing. Today we're going to be taking a look at the uh, XYZ 3D printer. The Da Vinci 2.0A Duo, which means it can print up to two different colors at the same time. So uh, first things first, let's get this thing out of the box and see what's in there. A, got ourselves a little glue stick to put on the plate to keep our, our 3D printed pieces in place. We got two. Focus, damn you, focus! No. You gotta focus now. Yeah. We got two little covers. We got ourselves a little brush to help get things cleaned. We got ourselves a USB cable. Looks like they upgraded the scraper to a metal scraper. The older ones had a, uh, a plastic scraper. We got our, our software DVD and some other information in there. We have some little clips, but my camera doesn't want to focus to clean out the, uh, the extruder tip. We have our power cable. It looks like we have a red cartridge. Some styrofoam. And our second cartridge, which is white. And now it's time for the printer. Let's get this thing out. There it is. So let's go ahead and get all the uh, plastic off this thing. It's a little bit bigger than I was expecting. I wasn't really sure what to expect. I don't really have a whole lot of experience with 3D printers. I have none. I've never used one before. Um, that's kind of one of the reasons why I chose this one. There are a ton of different printers on the market at varying, at varying prices and stuff like that. And uh, so I kind of chose this one that hopefully I'll just be able to plug in and uh, just use it. That's the idea. That's kind of, uh, I think a lot of people get into this. So I figure I'll go at it from the point of not knowing a thing. Go ahead and check out and see what's inside of this thing. Looks like they, uh, they did a pretty good job at packing this thing. Tons of foam and uh, styrofoam everywhere to keep this thing from getting destroyed and shipping. So this thing retails for about 500 bucks nowadays. Um, you can find them cheaper um, depending on where you find it. Um, yeah, so there's a ton of packing in this thing. seems to come out pretty easy for the most part, which is kind of nice. Let's pull it in 
now. Tons of tape everywhere holding this thing all together. It's nice to see. in there holding the, uh, the rails in place. So there is a really large red zip tie on the top holding the printer uh, extruders in place. So I'm going to go ahead and get that cut out of the way. But I'll need to go get some something different to cut those with some scissors. Be right back. So let's take a closer look on the inside of this thing. We do have two buckets. Um, that's what it uses to clean the uh, tips and stuff like that. Um, when you start it up, and all the little bits of plastic and stuff will, will fall into these little bins. And it's got two of them because it's got two heads. And here's our our bed that we'll be printing our stuff on. And that's a uh, that's glass. And um, I do believe it is a heated bed, which is another reason why I chose this printer. Focus camera, focus. There we go. So let's take a look at the top. Right here is where we're going to stick our two different um, uh, cartridges for our filaments. And on the back, on the side, we got a little door, a little cutout for whatever reason. We have our, our power plug in, our USB um, uh, plug, and our power switch. On the very back is a little panel, and that's where the, uh, the board and stuff like that live. So on the very top, we have some directions on how to load everything. This closes up kind of nice. So, some of the first versions of this, it didn't have the magnetics on the front to keep the door shut, um, which they do have now. And uh, the overall build quality of this thing seems really, really nice. I'm, I'm really impressed with it. Um, you know, for being a $500 thing, I've seen worse things built that cost a lot more money than this thing. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and get this thing all started up, and I'll see you in a few minutes. Okay, so we go through this and following all the directions really closely. There are quite a few steps to follow to get this thing all set up. Um, so first I'm going to plug it in and plug it into the computer before I download any software. Get it turned on. There it goes. Take a closer look in there, see what's going on. So there we go. It actually is pretty bright in there, which is kind of nice. Um, it's got some LED uh, lighting right in the very front. Let's get this back on the platform so the camera's not so shaky for you guys. Okay. So, like I said, um, it's all plugged in now. I've gone ahead and um, I've registered with uh, XYZ Online and I've started downloading the software.
Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is uh, going through the directions. We haven't, I have not fed the, uh, the filament into the extruder head yet, so that's what I'm going to do right now. So I'm going to go to Utilities. I'm going to go to Change Cartridge. And I'm going to start with Cartridge 1. And I'm going to Load Filament. So now it says Load, uh, load Filament, Heating, Extruder 1, um, Up a Temperature. Please wait. So you have to wait until the extruder is up to temperature before you start feeding the um, filament into the machine. Right now the bed is actually raising up, if you look at it really closely. Okay, now it says insert filament into extruder 1. Okay, so now it's loading. It says, please wait. Okay, it did take three tries um, to get all the filament fed into the nozzle for it to um, start to come out in there. So now I can hit OK. And looks like cartridge one is filled. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, load up cartridge 2 now and uh, I'll see you guys in a few minutes. Alright, so I've gone ahead and got all the uh, filament loaded up into the extruder heads and I think we are ready to do our test print. Um, on some machines you do have to calibrate the bed, but on this one, um, as long as it prints fine, it's uh, calibrated from the factory. So let's uh, scroll down to uh, utilities and we'll scroll right down to build sample. And we got a, we got a demo. Keychain, a star base, and that's it. Let's uh, let's let's try the uh, the star base. Uh, start building. Let's give it a try and see what happens. There we go, doing its thing in there. seconds ago it said it had uh, about 26 hours left to print um, but it looks like after a few minutes of printing it does a better job at calculating how much time is left to actually finish the print right now it's at about an hour and 43 minutes um, which seems a little bit better <laughs> I don't want to take prints that take that long unless I'm printing really big stuff um, so yeah unfortunately the light shuts off while it starts printing so I can't really see anything in there um, so I will be adding some LED lighting in there um, on its own power source, so I will be able to do some filming of the parts actually being made. So let's let it do some printing and we'll check on it in a little bit. Okay, so we're 32 minutes in, we're about 36% uh, done. Um, it says there's about an hour left, but we'll see. Um, so one thing I did notice is with light, if you hit, okay, it lights up for a little bit. That's kind of nice. Um, but it still shuts off after a while, it times out. So I still will need to do uh, some sort of lighting in there that always stays on so I can do, you know, really long prints in there because I can't be standing around hitting an OK button all day. So, okay, so we've been printing for almost an hour now. It's about, uh almost 60% done so let's see what it looks like in there not too shabby so this thing isn't overly loud um, if it was in my office uh, probably somewhere else in the room um, I could certainly keep working here and take phone calls and stuff like that 
Um, so yeah, I'm really happy with it so far. The print looks like it's coming out pretty smooth. Looks like it's pretty clean. I'm pretty happy with it so far. But we'll take a real close look at it when we get it out of the printer. Alrighty, so the thing's all done printing. It uh, took a little over an hour, probably an hour and 25 minutes or so to get this thing printed. Um, right now it's uh, cooling off, so it says uh, do not touch until it's cooled off. Okay, so it's all cooled off now, or cool enough. We'll take our little scraper and uh, get this thing off. There we are. First 3D printed uh, little cup thing. Let's uh, well set the camera up and we'll take a little bit closer look at this thing. So there it is. We got it uh, all printed out. Overall, it's got a little couple little burgers and stuff on it, but this stuff usually does. It's uh, not not really flexible or anything like that. Um, so yeah, I'm really happy with this thing. It, uh, it did what it said it was going to. It 3D printed me a little uh, star cup. That is pretty cool. Okay, so that took one hour and 49 minutes to print our uh, our first little test build. Um, so let's see. So it used two meters of, uh, of I believe, the white filament, and it used... I would probably take a guess a little bit less of the red because it's um uh, where is it? Info. Info. Cartridge stats, cartridge two. And I'll use a little bit more of the white because there's uh four rows of the white and um, three rows of the red. So it used about five meters of uh filament. Um so that's not too bad. So yeah. So, we've got our first product uh, printed out and it, uh, it came out really good. I really like it. I'm really impressed on how clean the, uh, the print came out. And the machine did exactly what it was uh, made to do. It took me about a half an hour to get it all set up and out of the box and to get my first print printed. Um, can't really ask for much more than that. Um, so I will do another video on the software that XYZ provides you to create your, your things and what you use to uh, send it over to the printer to have it print your products. Um, so is it worth $500? I think so, especially having uh, print two different colors, it has a heated bed. Um, I think it's worth it. You can buy cheaper stuff and you can find cheaper things from China and stuff like that. Um, from all the videos, they do look like they work and stuff like that. And the biggest thing with 3D printing, it seems like, is the temperatures. Um, they have fans around the extruders that um, get this product cooled down as soon as it can when it comes out of the extruder. Um, and this has two pretty good fans. Um, it's an enclosed case, so the you don't have to worry about like the room temperature so much. It helps keep the temperature inside the unit at the right temperature to print very well. Um, so yeah, if you like what you see, a thumbs up is always nice. Um, you can always hit that subscribe button to check out the other stuff we want to 3D print. If you guys want to see anything in particular 3D printed, just leave it down in the comments and uh, as long as it fits in there, I'll print it. And uh, there's all kinds of really cool filaments and stuff like that flexible stuff, um, different types, um, water soluble kind where if you need to have support material um, you just drop it in water after, the support material disappears and it just leaves behind your, your piece that you made. So like I said, if you like what you see, thumbs up and uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next video.